Hey, Farming Peeps, Toster12 here, and boy, do we have some mods today. They have dropped them on us, and I am fully excited. The bad thing of this is, is I have to work tonight. So, y'all enjoy. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the, the, the labor here is, it's not part of it, it's just a bucket there. That bucket is the mod for the, uh, yeah, those things, the wheel loaders. That bucket is $1,850. Get a load of this. It has a capacity of 6,200 liters. That is amazing. It is a, a author is the Grassland Mods. It is available for all platforms. And... It is, of course, under wheel loaders, right there. 1850, hauls everything. 6,200 liters. It will cost you $3 a day to have. But it only sets you back three spaces. Just three slots for 6,200 liters. Oh, my goodness. Now that is cool. Because I'm excited. Because look at that. That's 3,000. That's over double the capacity. And half the cost. In the same slots. So there you go. It is customizable. You can customize the color. And that'd be about it. So. But. You can make it your favorite color. So. You have that. That kind of looks cool. Okay. I'm actually kind of digging that. That kind of. That's cool. Huh. I might be on to something. Anyway, that's what we have for the the wheel loaders. Is that little nifty bucket right there? I say little, that nifty bucket right there. Not so little. Next, let's do the baler. That thing. Oh, look. The New Holland Big Baler 1290. That sucker has arrived. And it only costs 155000 to start out. It is author of Giant Software. It is available. It is, it is, I'll spit it out in a minute. Yep, yep, yep. It is available for all platforms. And of course, it is under bailing equipment. Ah, technology, anyway, bailing technology. Yeah, there it is. And there you have it. It does all the grass, the straw, and hay. 160 horsepower tractor is needed. It does 4,000 liters, of course. And it will set you back four slots. That's it. Four slots. So four slots. That one's, uh, whoops, that one's nine. I already have that one, looks like. Uh, so we'll go see what that one is. That one's nine. And that one's five. Oh. Four doesn't look so bad. So I'll probably end up changing. I'll have that big baler. I'll gain a slot or four. So I'm, that's, I'm, I'll do it. No problem, hands down. Oh, we don't want to do that, though. Failing technology, back over here. Boom. And there it is. It is not customizable. Of course, it's a baler. It does what it's made to do. So, square bales you will have, and square bales I will have. So, for a decent price, and I'll save in slots. So, there you have that. That baler has arrived, the big baler, 1290. I'm liking that. I'll, I've always liked these. These are, these are just truly amazing, I think. The style, the looks, and you never have to stop. It's square bales. You just keep trucking and keep moving. You never have to open the, the back end to drop a hay bale out. I love that. That in itself is awesome. Time saver, too. Oh, and look. We have a tractor to pull it with. Right here. Isn't she pretty? The Voltra has come out with a big... Ooh, Voltra S-Series Cow Edition. 
It's a large tractor. Giants came out with it. It's the, the author, Giant Software. is available for all platforms. The price will set you back $297,000. And it is a 350 to 400 horsepower tractor. And of course, it's in large tractors. All the way over to the moo. Well, the last moo, anyway. Uh, right there. Boom. It is customizable in color, so you can change the, the wheel color up. I say I don't say just color, the wheel color you can change up. And that just just about does it. I don't like that. I think I have to go with that one. Probably, if I can get it. Of course, that's just me. Uh, the engine setup, you can go from the, the S324. You can bump $25,000 onto that and go to the S374, but it does jump it from 350 horsepower to the 400 horsepower. Then you're back down to the 324. So if you want to bump in horsepower from 50 horsepower, it's going to cost you 25000 The wheel setup now, you can do the wheel setup, and it's wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires and wheel weights, twins all the way around, rear twins, or back to standard. So you can do that, 8,000, 10,000, 3,000. So you do have, do have some price differences there for changing up the wheels, with the most being at 10,000. So if you're wanting to max the tractor out, your total price would be $332,300 for a max, max tractor. That's changing the colors, the wheels, and the engine all together. So there you have that. It's kind of, kind of sharp looking too with those duels on there all the way around. That's kind of kind of mean and beefy. <laughs> I'll be dang. Oh, a squirrel. <laughs> Sorry. Sitting there looking at the tractor, admiring it, and had a squirrel moment. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Sorry. I had another one there. Jeez. They're, they're rampant. I'm telling you, people, those squirrel moments have been rampant. The last couple of days, it's so easy. Oh, you wouldn't even know. It's, it's <laughs> kind of scary to me even sometimes. Here, we have a new logging trailer. And I wasn't all that keen about it. I was just kind of, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> my, fam my, my, other than squirrel, my other famous saying is, yeah. The uh, logging trailer, I, said, I wasn't too fond about it until I actually picked it up and drove it around. I think I'm actually kind of liking that. It's a badass little trailer. It does have a little glitch in it I see right there with the post. Now, the posts are collapsible. I'll show you that in a second. The uh, trailer will set you back $30,000. It does have the unfold option uh, as well. It is under forestry equipment. It may, its author is Chris Joe. It is available on all platforms. And... Of course, it's under, it is under, let's see, logging. I always have a problem finding these things. Oh, forestry. Oh, right there. All righty. And, of course, you scroll over. And the flagel log trailer. There you have it. Isn't she pretty in the showroom? I think it's just awesome. Now, you see here, excuse me, how all the the support posts and, and stuff is uh, symmetrical, basically. They wasn't. Once I collapsed them down and opened them back up, they, they, they wasn't symmetrical anymore. So there's a glitch there on that, but it's no big deal. You can go to the two axles. Two axle collision. Three axles visible. Two axles plus sidebar. See, there's, there's, a, there's a few different options you can go. I'm actually not too fond of that because that means I'm going to have to cut my logs really short. So, myself, right there, probably what I'll do, exactly the way it comes. See? I think I just, I just don't know if I like that. I mean, it's, it, that may be good for some people, but I think I'll just... And I think I'd keep my three axles. I, I, I kind of like the looks of that. That's kind of, I don't know, it's beefy, it's mean. I like that. It's tough. And plus, it, for all intensive purposes, it's more weight-bearing. You can haul more because the uh, 
the tires on the ground. But I do like that with that front end, the dolly front end. I am digging that. It is awesome. It's a little tedious sometimes to actually get it around, but it'll work. And for $30,000, that's not bad. And it will only set you back 12 slots. I know, it's 12 versus the others. But it's cool. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow. You know, three and four, which, you know, I'm probably still going to stick with those. But I may have to lease that every now and then just to try it out and have fun. Because it is a cool, cool little trailer. And it, it it's, it's easy to drive, but it just takes a little bit of getting used to. You see if you'll see those supports right there. They kind of glitched out. But it's I'm sure it's fixable. They'll probably working on that. It may just be uh, my system too. Who knows? Possibility. Boom. Not not last. But as far as mod wise, the last. Here we have the spiked. Oh yeah. Bail grabber is what I call the thing. It is the uh, bell fork with claws. Fork lizard with claws, I should say. It's option for front loaders, teleloaders, and wheeled loaders. Telehandlers, per se. The price is $1,100. It's author is Black Sheep Modding. is available for all platforms. So, that little doodad is cool. I mean, it moves all around, does everything it's needing to do. I'm thinking that's kind of awesome. There you have it. Reach up and grab that thing. Bam. I would really hate to get grabbed by those. They look kind of painful. Yeah, I bet they would be. Ooh. Anyway, that's what, Sorry. <laughs> Did it again. Uh, let's see. Front loaders... Is that where I found that at? Yes. Okay. The fork lizard with claws will set you back $1,100 right there. And if you'll notice, it does fit the, S, uh, the FZ30 and 60, so that will work. And here's your options of the front loader, teleloader, the telehandler, and the wheel loader. So it will fit all of those, and there's no price change in them. It's just your options of what you want. The leasing option on it is $56 if you just don't want to purchase it. And there you have that. <clears throat> now, we have a few extras. They're just a few. But, they are new maps. Yes, they are. And I'll try to showcase them here. But I will showcase each one individually on a separate video in and of itself. So, let's do this. We shall exit from here and let's make a career and a save game number four. Yes, and we don't care because we're not going to keep it. But look at this. We've got the Ravenport, we've got the Felsbrunn, and we've got the Estancia Lapacho. Oh, but look at those three other dots down there. We got Grizzly Mountain. We have Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea. And we have New Bartles Hagen. Look at that. I'm telling you people, I'm excited about the new maps here. I'm excited about these. I'm excited about another one, but I'm excited about these because we got them. I mean, we have these. This is probably the some of the best mods I think we've gotten so far. I mean, it's it's new maps. New, it's a new playground. Come on. So stay tuned and check back on my feed because I'm going to do a video on each one of these of about at least 30 minutes of video to get used to the map and kind of show it off and just kind of give you a, a heads up about it. 
There won't be any major farming. It's just going to be majorly running around and checking it out. So, uh, appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already. And check back for the Grizzly Mountain, Mo the Grizzly Mountain video and the Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea video and the new Bartleshagen video. All coming to you today. I appreciate you stopping by. And until next time, we'll catch you later.